Yes, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Uh, I want to thank everyone who is tuning in this moment, and I want to say to you, your life won't remain the same. God bless you wherever you are. And I want to say to you, this is a wonderful time which God has given us to share with you the word of God. I want to say that your life won't remain the same in Jesus' mighty name. This is your friend, uh, Prophet Simon Victor uh, of Parts of Praise Church. Uh, we have a church on Interior Road called Parts of Praise Church, and also we have a fellowship in Kampala as Emerald Hotel. The fellowship is called G2 Fellowship, and G2 means raising a godly generation. I'm here to talk to you something about uh, uh, living in a, a successful life or how to live in success, a successful life. Uh, there are many people, they are living in life where there is a lot of barriers, hindrances, obstacles, seeing no breakthrough. But I want to teach you and show you how you can live in a life which is successful because I know this is a question for each and every one. And I want to talk about number one key, number one key. I'll be sharing different keys, but I want to talk about number one key. This is something which probably have heard several times and they have been ignoring it. And they don't know the secret behind that type thing. The Bible says in the book of Malachi uh, chapter three, uh, from verse 6. This is where I want to bring the content, the, the, the key. And I want to teach you something which is going to bless you the, the whole of your life in this very year, in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, I, the Lord, do not change. You saw the sentence of Jacob are not destroyed ever since that time of your father, forefathers, you have turned away from my decrees, and I have not kept you, and you have not kept them. If you turn to me, and I will turn to you, says the Lord. But you ask, how are we going to, to return? You were a man robbed God, yet you have robbed me. But you ask, how do we rob you? In tithes and offerings. You are under a curse and the whole nation of, of you because you are rob you, you, you are robbing me. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not throw open the fire gates of heaven and pour out the blessings, much blessings, that you will not have a room enough for it. I will prevent pests from devouring your crops and veins in your in your fields will not cast their fruits, says the Lord, says the Lord Almighty. Then all the nations of the earth will call you blessed. For your for your for, for yours will be delightful land, says the Lord Almighty. You have, so you'll be in a delightful land. Uh, this is something which I want to share with you in the next few minutes. Uh, the Lord is saying something here that we will ever love rob, rob God. It is amazing that when we start eating our tithes and, and offerings to God in the house of the Lord, we are robbing God. Remember, God gives you all, but He just needs 10%. It is amazing people love the 10% than the 90%. And I want to ask yourself a question before, before you disobey God. 
before you rob God. Uh, if the 90 is not enough for your problem, will the 10 can solve your problem? That's the number one question. There are a lot of things which God always warns us before we throw in a mistake. God told, God told, uh, God told, uh, he told uh, Adam and Eve, on that tree, on that tree, don't eat anything. On that tree, don't eat anything. Now, he said, on that tree, don't eat anything, because on that tree, on that very tree, he was, God was, warning them to preserve their being, to preserve their lives. That's why he said, on that tree, eat nothing. On that tree, eat nothing. They had all the authority to eat all, but accept on that tree. When God, when God wants you on something, he's preserving you. And sometimes he's looking for your obedience. Nothing else is God's looking at us. Just looking for our obedience. Not so that he cannot give it all. He can give it all to you. But why he said on that tree, I've given you all, but on that tree. There are some things which God will put emphasis on because he wants to bless you out of your obedience. Praise the Lord. Out of your obedience. Now he's telling us here, bring the whole tithe in my house that there will be food, that there will be things to use in my house. That, number one, that I will open up the gates of heaven and pour the blessings on you, that you have no room to contain the blessing. Number one benefit of tithing, God to open the floodgates of heaven for you so that you will have no room to contain that blessing. That's number one benefit. What is the floodgates of heaven? What are the, hall, the, the doors of heaven? What are the windows of heaven? As a person is saying, the windows of heaven. But what are the windows of heaven? The windows of heaven, those are opportunities on the earth. Have you ever, have you ever seen somebody having many opportunities? That he has many opportunities where money is coming from, where a lot of things are coming from. That's what God wants to do for you. When you obey God, he opens it for you. Praise the Lord. He opens for you doors and gates. And then you have the blessings and you have nowhere to contain the blessings. Praise the Lord. That is number one benefit. Number two benefit, he will rebuild the devourer. What's the devourer? The devourer builds a problem, things which come. You know that there are many people who get money, but the, when they get money, the more problems they get. And all what they are doing, what they are doing is expending and keeping nothing and investing nothing. Why? Because of problem circumstances. When we get the blessings, when we get the provisions, God expects us to keep and preserve. This is why you are not preserving because there is a pest, there is a eater, there is a destroyer, there is a devourer, which is always attacking your, your collections. That's why you have nothing because not you are working because not you are you, because not you are not working but you are working but what is taking them is 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 more there's a devourer there's a pest and the only one we can rebuke that devourer is God that's why he said if you give your tithe I will rebuke that devourer on your behalf there are some problems you are rebuking and some devourers you are rebuking but they are not going because you are it's not your work to rebuke it is God his work to rebuke your work is to obey, to give that tithe, to give that 10%. And then the work of God is to rebuke the devourer. I want to say to you, child of God, obey the Lord. You will see success. You will see the blessings of God this year. You will see the hand of God at work this year. You will see God rebuking the pest, rebuking the devourer. And all the nations of the earth, the Bible says, they will call you blessed. All the nations of the earth will call you blessed. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I want to say to you, child of God, God bless you. As you obey the Lord, you will see the fulfillment of the word of God in your life. You will see the hand of God at work in your life. 
Shalom. God bless you. We love you. I pray for you in Jesus' name. May you see the hand of God. May you see the grace of God. May you see the favor of God. May you see the progress and success in all. In Jesus' name. Shalom.